Tony Robbins life tips on becoming your own boss. Before we start, I'd want you to hit that red subscribe button and comment down below I subscribe for a chance to win our shout out giveaway. Hey graduating class of 2020, it's Tony Robbins. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Entrepreneur Pod. With the passage of time, many people are quitting their jobs and starting their own business. In order to run your business or even establish one, you need to become your own boss. You will be in control of each and everything, which includes the entire success or failure of your business. Tony Robbins, who is his own boss, has the right tips for you to follow his footsteps. In this video, we will explain those in our own words. So let's jump right into it. Number one, strength strength and patience. One of the most important things you'll need in life is to have the strength to overcome the challenges which you face in your daily life. We all know that life is full of challenges, but rarely are some people strong enough to overcome them. When it comes to the business world, challenges are thrown from each and every side. It may be fun to think that I won't be answerable to someone else for the actions, but in reality, this is not true. You will not be answerable to anyone higher than you, but you will be answerable to those who are working below you. You. you will not have a monthly check in your hand anymore, nor yearly bonuses. The situation may not be in your favor every time, and you will have to be strong in such times. The hard times always pass, but are you strong enough to handle them? It takes a calm, clear mindset to succeed at self-employment. Those who don't have efficient stress management skills or get easily frazzled cannot become their own bosses. Number two, diversify your portfolio. Being your own boss means you need to offer more than one service or product. It also also means that you need to have more than one investor and client. Don't ever rely on only one investor, client, or product as no matter how good your one product or service is, you will always be beaten by your competitors. If you are relying on one investor or client, you will always lose them in the competition. Nowadays, there is so much competition that you'll be kicked out of the business industry at once if you don't diversify your portfolio. Depending on your schedule, you should set aside a few hours at least every other week and devote that time to finding new customers and clients. You need to invest in yourself, learn new skills, and polish your current skills. Be the best so that you cannot be replaced by any competition. You can enroll yourself in online lectures, read biographies of successful business people, and I bet you, you will be able to become your own boss. You must also have your own personal growth plan because it will be the best investment for the future. And I said, maybe it's time for you to invent a new product. Remember, what is business? Innovation and marketing. Number three, financial stability. It is extremely important to remember that having financial stability means you are stress-free at least financially. If you have a job, then I would recommend you do not quit it until your business comes to a point where you are sure it will provide you constant source of living for you. You must keep your business venture aside from your job so that you can at least pay the bills and afford food for your monthly check. You need to be stress-free so that you can make sound decisions for your business. If you are worried about paying the bills, and how to support your own family, then I'm sorry to say you won't be able to run a successful business. With money, you can hire employees to run daily tasks and be free of stress as much as possible. Number four, plan an infrastructure. You need to put the infrastructure of your business into place. Start taking small steps and invest in your business. Before starting, do proper research on your target market and also research ways to reach your potential customers. You need to have the whole plan in place before jumping into the new world. It doesn't matter whether you're business is traditional or online, you must do competitor analysis. Learn skill sets required to run your business effectively. You also want to make sure you have all the equipment needed, including hardware and software, for you to turn your side gig into a career. Number five, coaches and guidance. As you are new in this field of becoming your own boss, I'd recommend taking guidance from well-known coaches. You won't be able to reach all, but learn from the top investors and business owners in your business industry. Always have a learning attitude, and that is how you become a successful in your life as well as business. No one knows all answers and that is why there are experts in each and every field. You can learn a lot from them. I know we are raised to think that we shouldn't ask for help and that we should all know the right answers. The truth is no one exists in a vacuum. It's our responsibility to find the right people to help us succeed. You don't just take the information in and go, isn't that interesting? You come up with principles and action plans. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I will see you in the next video.